I mean, it was, it's, it's goofy. I mean, it really is the, the greatest, you know, gift I've been handed in just in terms of, you know, a hobby. And then I remember when you, because we're about the same age, and so right. I remember they did a profile on you in high school when you were in the A's hat, mm -hmm. yeah. like the old school A's hat. And even then, you, you, it looked like you were a little bit more, but you yeah. were like this, and then the bat would fly just the same. You, you'd go like, yeah. and the, the, the bat would go flying. But Manny Ramirez in high school and then on the Indians leaned forward with his swing, kind of like Carl Yastrzemski did at the end of his career, where Yaz was all the way forward, and David Eckstein a little bit is now. Then on the Red Sox, then on the Red Sox, he got a little bit more demonstrative and his, his uniform got baggier and baggier. So, and then he'd fiddle with a mouth guard. So he'd have the incredibly baggy jersey and he'd kind of be fiddling with the mouth guard. And so he'd be doing all sorts of stuff like this before he would get in the box. And so he'd go like this. So then when he would get in the box, at the very end of his Red Sox days, he started even experimenting with the samurai, moving the bat forward. So he would hold it forward and almost a little bit up and off to the side for a little bit. And he still would lean forward a little bit, but this time he got pretty much even and then would kind of move around a little bit. Do, do Rafi, do Rafi. So for call, kind of fool around with the bat a little bit, make sure the chaw's in, it'll go like, <laughs> and then kind of upright, and then he'll move his hands back and forth, so he'll go, he'll go. And then if the pitch is, Anywhere less than where he wants to be, he'll go get it, literally. He'll go. <laughs> hey, do my Loretta. And, his, and his, his, his swing on deck is ridiculous. Euclid is like. <laughs> and he, and he like. <laughs> yeah, you better take your chin out. Alito. Yeah. There <laughs> you go. And he's just like drenched in sweat, like whoosh, whoosh. And so he'll go like. <laughs> and he'll like let go with the wrong hand. He's like, what is he doing? Oh, he hits. Always, oh gosh, he hits. Do Pedroia, Pedroia. Okay, Pedroia. <laughs> He kind of does the same, he just like fiddles with his fingers, but like. So what Ichiro does is he starts in the on-deck circle. And so on the on-deck circle, he does um, a bit of a Pilates routine. So he'll get down really low and my hamstrings can't do what his can. So he'll do some version of this, going back and forth and getting all stretched out. Then when he walks up to the plate, for some strange reason, right when he starts out, he'll get really low like this, with his feet kind of out like a duck. And then he'll come up. He'll get up like this, then he'll go over like this, and then he'll fiddle with his hand right here, going back and forth. And this is last year, which was brand new, he started sniffing his arm. So he would go like up and down like this, which he'd never done before. Then he tugs on his shirt really hard right when he comes back in line. So he'll, he'll go like this, back like this, and then he'll kind of lean back. And then he'll start running to first before he finishes the swing. So he'll be all the way heading toward heading toward first base. So Griffey is a lot smoother than most of the players. So he'll walk up looking very nonchalant and then will even set up looking like he's not um, trying that hard. And um, his, his body shape is slightly different than mine. So the thing that's kind of the most pronounced is kind of the shelf, like how you could put books like right here. It'll be like this. So Griffey will be like, you know, with the shelf out and then, and then he'll let go of the bat. He'll let go of the bat and then in one motion, so he'll go. And then he'll just start walking, kind of looking bored. And what he'll do is he'll do these sweeping, kind of flamboyant swings while walking up to the plate. So he'll start, he'll start over here, but then he'll run up behind home plate and go like this, go. And then run up again and then do this and then run up again and do this. And then he'll get in the box. He'll get in the box and he just kind of smiles a little bit. So he'll do like, he'll do, he'll like smile just like a little bit and A-Rod will go kind of up and down. And then, and then he started this new thing. He, he used to not do this on Seattle. 
in Texas, but when he finishes the swing now, he goes and like co coils it at the very end. He used to not do that. With, with pool holes, with pool holes, it's his face. It's his front eye and his mouth. Almost looking like he's growling, like he's a literal pirate, not a Pittsburgh pirate. Give me, give me a growl. So he'll, so pool holes, pool holes will get down, he'll go like this, he'll go, he'll go like. So he'll scrunch his face up like he, he doesn't like the sun or like wants to wear old school blades. And he'll kind of stick the bat at any kind of angle like this. It's a little awkward and a little bit off the side. And then he'll do a little like step down and then, and then swing. And then if he hits it and it's a bomb, he'll send the bat with his left hand over this way. He'll basically, he'll, he'll, he'll launch it like this. He'll go like up like this. He'll go, and then he'll throw the bat like that, one-handed off to the side.